Of course, we are into week two as Zeeland West tonight takes on Cedar Springs in the Ducks' second and final non-conference game before they roll right into OK Green play. Pretty good effort, but not quite enough to get to that lead stick. So here we go from the far hash. Bullhouse with that three-man wing tee backfield. They block it up well, and Vanderswag plows forward for the first down. Gain of four on fourth and one. Bullhouse down on the crouch, takes the snap, handing off Vanderswag. He's got the first down. As he tumbles over a white jersey, he had his hand on the back of the lineman in front of him. And it was enough good blocking again to get the first down by a yard. Check him out at autobodyexperts.com. Play action fake, wide open, touchdown. Ducks, Trey Slothock pulls it in at the one and backs his way over the goal line for six. Slothock caught the only pass that Bullhouse threw last week and he's up to his usual tricks again. Bullhouse on the straight give and it's good for two. Brody Moss. Gets the handoff, and he takes it in. His collarbone last year missed much of the season. The Red Hawks happen to have him back as he steps into the pocket. A lot of traffic back there, and down he goes. The sack for the Ducks on third down. Rolls it over to fourth and long. It'll be fourth and 14. They've had the ball for the majority of it. Roblin on the toss. Has some time to pick out his options, and he's free down the sideline for a touchdown. Rolando Roblin cashes in, and there was nobody within five yards of him when he got into the end zone. Six more for the Ducks, 14-0. In the offseason, they had several competitions involving weightlifting, involving attending events. As down goes Luvano, the ball is loose, and it's picked up by the Ducks inside the 25-yard line. Marshall Johnson. Levels Lovano before he could throw the ball. He was trying to get rid of it desperately. It's a fumble. It's a turnover. The Ducks have it again at the 22-yard line is where the ball will be spotted. So Same-day service. If you drop off your items by 9 a.m., check them out at hightonecleaners.com. Another strong push, and there's Holman spinning off a tackle and going in for the touchdown. 21 yards. For the man in the backfield, Parker Holman. Another touchdown, it's 20-0 Zealand West. Keaton Hendricks checks in as the man right behind Bullhouse. And Bullhouse will keep and throw, and it's complete. He just squeezed that right past the defender. Brody Smyers makes the catch. Smyers, who plays tight end on the offensive side, more of a standout on the defensive side, but that time he showed off the hands. Another rollout for Lovano, and this time he's sacked. Marshall Johnson, his second sack of the ball game. A huge loss. Loss of 10. Setting up fourth down and 20. That's 27 yards for the first down. And now the Ducks are at the 43. Bullhouse, he's rolling out. And throws complete to Yant at the 34-yard line. Yant turns on the Jets at the 20. Yant inside the 15. And he's out of bounds on the far side. Orion Yant, his first catch of the season. As Bullhouse rolled out and hit him with a dart on the far hash. Ducks convert on third. They're three for five in the game. On third down, Bowhouse handing, Roblin finishes the job. He plunges in from one yard out for the Ducks' fourth touchdown of the night. 28 to nothing, pending the two-point conversion. 146 to go in the third. Down the sideline is Holman to the 40, to the 30, to the 2010 touchdown. Parker Holman as we come back from break to a Zeeland West touchdown run. Out of the shotgun, Trey Slothawk handed it to Holman, and he was off. He actually went off right end, off the right tackle, I should say. Then he slipped to the sideline, and he was gone. 61 yards for Holman in the fourth quarter. Two-point conversion time. They try to make it 36 to nothing. Stretch handoff, and Holman, the younger, is in. I thought he was stopped short, but Brandon Holman makes it 36 to nothing. Again, pretty good success. They have some decent indicators here, but 
No big chunk plays. That's really been the story of it. Second straight game that the Ducks have limited. No plays over 20 yards. Well, there I, there I go talking about it. And there goes the touchdown for Cedar Springs, apparently. Noah Mallory into the end zone. No one wrapped him up, and the Red Hawks are finally on the board in 2023. If they keep it on the ground, it'll be the final play, most likely. In fact, it's going to be a kneel down for Allberg. He gets his first official carry, but it's a knee. And that's going to wrap it up. The clock's running. Cedar Springs is not going to stop at the two sides. Exchange handshakes. Ducks win. Ducks win. 36-7 to seven on a beautiful Thursday night in Zeeland, Michigan. The Ducks are 2-0 oh for the second straight.